Uh, Michael here with GoodyReader.com. We're here with Anish, and uh, we're looking at some of the new flexible screens uh, that is done by Plastic Logic. So what we have here is Paper Tap, a fully functional, uh, uh, flexible uh, paper computer. Um, as you can see, you might be surprised. I don't have one screen like a computer, but multiple screens. And why is it good? Because it reduces uh, my mental load. Uh, for example, as you can see here, this is an example of a bookshelf. So I have my bookshelf, I have a bunch of books here. I want to pick up a book and read it. And I can do that simply by taking the, uh, this sheet of paper and picking it up. Now I can see the overview, I can see the pages of my book. I can just bend it, flip it open. It's very simple and intuitive because sh how do I open a book? I just bend it and open the cover just like a physical book so I can uh, flip through it. Uh, another advantage is I'm not reading it now. I want to keep it away for reading it after some time. I just keep it away and it knows that and it closes the book and just shows the overview pages of the book. And again, I can pick it up and I can bend it and read it again. So th what's the essence of the three screens uh, that you have here? How do, um, how do they all work in synergy? Um, what's, what's the core of the technology here? Uh, so the three screens are just because we have three screens right now, it need not be limited to three screens. We can have more than three. Uh, the, way, uh, the way they work is they're all being tracked uh, uh, by a, a 3D tracker which knows where they are. So they sense each other where they are close to each other. So for example, you're reading a book, you want to have two sheets of paper rather than one. You can just place two sheets of paper together and you get extended display. So you have more real estate to read your book now. Probably for your newspaper, you want more. So you can co-locate them and do that. So it's very thin. Uh, yes. So the display itself is like really thin and uh, we just have some uh, electronics and sensors on the back. Uh, so, you know, you're, you're running like, um, you know, different programming on here to, to get this. Uh, where do you see the, the commercial viability of this? Like uh, an application in what? Like uh, flexible like e-readers, flexible tablets? Where, where do you kind of uh, see this going? The, there's a lot of ways it can go about. The most obvious one is flexible computers. I think people would love to have lots of sheets of uh, displays so that uh, they have more screen real estate, they can easily multitask, so they have a, probably a movie playing on one and they're reading a book on another. They don't have to like uh, switch between the app. If they get an email, they don't have to close their movie player to get an email. They just pick up the email. So that's one. The other one is you can look at probably in terms of like education for books and students. It's so convenient that you have documents here which are interlinked. All the information we have is hyperlinked right now, right? And I don't think the books are, uh, books have caught up with that. Like how do you uh, interact with interlinked uh, information? This can easily do that. You can have probably a Wikipedia page here and you have related uh, information on another page next to it. So you can seamlessly navigate through information uh, and quickly and easily access them. All right, quickly, initially you showed us uh, a cool way that email could be handled on yes. here. Can you, sh can you demonstrate that? Yeah, give me a second. Uh, so here's another example of how I can use a uh, paper tab. I have my email inbox on one display and it shows me all my email uh, overview. Uh, let's say I want to read the latest mail that came up. I just tap the display and I get the email in here. Now, uh, they want the baby picture, so why don't I send it to them? And how do I do that? I don't have to search, go through the folders and stuff like that. I have email, I have the photo here. I just tap it and it gets attached. And I can again bend the display or probably tap at the out box to send the email. So this is just uh, another way that these could work in yes. concert and, and in synergy with each other. So really the possibilities are endless with yes, this. Yes, indeed. Uh, so one more advantage of paper tab is because these displays are uh, so thin and lightweight, I can use them like sheets of paper and wo overlap one on another. Uh, why would I want to do that? Uh, for example, here you can see I have a map. Uh, I feel I need to see more of the map and my screen is smaller. I take another sheet, I just overlap it, and I get a bigger map.